here in New Jersey, and I really like this place. I've started from like the fourth row here before and competed for a win. It's a good track for me. I'm excited. Well, one of the best things I like is that it never really slows down. There's no 90 degree corners or you know last corner at Laguna Seca. Everybody's bunching up. Uh, it really gives everybody a chance to to just keep the flow going and ride and attack. I made an error and uh, let the bike over rev in the downshift and the rev limiter doesn't work that way. So I uh, went up to 16.5 and uh, just got tight in there. I felt it immediately and I pulled into the pits. So. You know, it didn't blow any oil out or anything. and. And so we were able to save those cases, and uh, then my guys did a motor swap in about, you know, half an hour. It was amazingly fast. out and set the pole. We had another qualifying session later in the day and uh, I used uh, Gerloff to like catch him to use as a carrot and that worked out just perfectly because he ran into a lapper right as we ended that lap so um, not ashamed to admit that all those guys have used me for that before so just a little bit of payback. <laughs> In the two lap practice that they gave us, I felt like I had really something for them. I passed everybody and they just, you know, after by several lengths. And uh, that, was, that was really confidence inspiring, you know. Uh, I knew that they were trying. Got a pretty good start. Uh, and then I passed both of those guys before turn five that were in front of me and just went from there. I knew my plan was to just make a big gap as soon as possible while those guys are still collecting themselves. I knew that they would feel out the surface better, but I, I already knew what was up, I guess. Just try to open up that gap. There was about opening up about two seconds every lap pretty consistently up until the midway point, and then uh, stayed pretty steady and started to get chipped away out at the end. But, you know, that was the plan, to uh, get a good enough gap where I could just totally back off at the end. every lap so that was really nice I uh, just tried to just tried to keep a good pace in the rain it's it can bite you in any second DSS, uh, National Down Syndrome Society. We had a helmet design contest and a CMRA guy actually won it for my home club, so that's pretty cool. The helmet is to be auctioned off uh, for money for National Down Syndrome Society. So it's something that we wanted to do from the beginning of the season and it's close to our hearts. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, people close to our team that are afflicted uh, with Down Syndrome, so we wanted to do something for them and this is our way. You know, I know I had the speed to win. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to bring it home. We made a tire choice that the rest of the guys didn't make, and uh, I feel like that, that really could have made the difference. So 
Also, I got a terrible start, so pilot error as well. Uh, there's just a bunch of factors that didn't line up for us today. I was chasing them down, picking them off like nobody's business, man. I had the fastest lap of the race. And uh, just as soon as I got out in front of all those guys and tried to chase Gagne down, it was uh, the tire just kind of dropped off. So we'll put that in our little black book. But uh, we got on the podium, though. So that's good. It was an amazing race with those guys scrapping around after that, and uh, that's the kind of stuff to put a smile on my face. I'll be thinking about it in the off season. Give me motivation to push that much harder, to push those pedals down that one more time, you know, to uh, to be better than those guys. You know, that's a bunch of negatives, and really, to come out with two podiums and the pole is like mind-blowingly cool. So, uh, you know, no complaints. It's uh, been a really good weekend and a really good year. The big thing for me was here at the last event, Dane put it on pole and uh, he won a race and it was real special for some personal reasons, but what made it even more special is that uh, we're carrying the NDSS logo this uh, last race and uh, we're auctioning off a helmet for the National Down Syndrome Society. And uh, that is a, a, an organization and a charity that is very close to my heart. And, uh, to uh, Kirk's heart from Brosser Sales and Service, so it actually got pretty emotional this weekend, but uh, now the sting is starting to wear off, and you know, as a whole, uh, Yamaloops Customer Service Group, um, Yamaha Motorsports Division, and uh, Brosser Sales and Service really completed everything. And the guy who held it all together was uh, Dane, and of course the, the muscle behind it all is, is uh, Trig Westby, so I'm blessed, and I'm uh, pretty sure you'll see us back again next year.